Sorry guys, the sun is coming out now. Better look at the weather though. Unless I'm in the eye of the storm. Apparently it's this, this unexplainable rain is some storm. If you said you don't even look at the news, I don't. I dinner with Lindsay last night. She's oh, I look at the news journal online. Oh God, I don't even look at that. I said, what's been going on? In the world, she said, nothing good, so. If you said, are you planning on looking? Not really. Okay, so what I want to do, I got my chicken. Oh, she's better not eat my chicken. Woo! Oh, she so I'm just using a little bit of chicken. Anyway, Mike, I just was getting really defeated and you know, I need to just get over it. I mean, if you're female in this field, you are gonna be another one of Larry's bullies started coming at me. Oh, you're a good trainer, but you're nasty to people. I said, I'm nasty to charlatan trainers. <laughs> you know, so that's how I justify my behavior. And if you said, do I think I'm wrong? No, I don't. Because it's fraudulent to claim you can call or condition a dog in two weeks. That's why any claiming to call or condition a dog with an electronic collar in two weeks is a fraudulent person, is a fraudulent trainer, because it isn't possible. If you said, well, they've got plenty of stuff, videos and, yeah, yeah, they got videos, DVDs, it's, 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 a, it's a tutorial on how to not train a dog. <laughs> anyway, I just, someone said to me, you do well <laughs> with the doggies, basically is how I took it. He, he didn't say doggies part, but he said dogs. And, you know, in the world of serious pro training, if someone says you do well, that means they don't think you do very well. <laughs> so then my sunglasses, anyway, I just started having one of my Nothing makes any sense. I just, you know, who is sitting there saying to themselves, I'm going to pick up this collar and try to make the dog bear. Oh! I said, oh, that was Parker to the phone. You know, make the, give the dog something it can barely feel. I mean, there's no proof. There. Why? Why barely feel? Nobody does anything with any speed. I mean, you know, don't you understand when things, when, when shit goes down, they're gonna be going fast. Yeah. Oh, hi, Cece. Oh, Cece, I saw your thing about the store the other day. Uh, I started to text Tony and say, get to the store, get this girl out of there. Uh, tell me what store you at because uh, when I was at dinner last night with Lindsay, she said her husband works at this, the Publix down in Edgewater. Oh, there was someone in there trying to steal and they were all like whacked out on drugs and then they went out in the parking lot and the person they were with was passed out in their car in the parking lot, <laughs> practically OD'd. And then apparently the other person works in Daytona as a paramedic and apparently they're just narcanning these people right and left. <laughs> oh my God, that's awful. Time to get back to the safety of your home. This is my advice. Remain in the safety of your home. Keep large dogs. <laughs> Keep large dogs that don't like strangers. <laughs> that, in fact, despise strangers. All right, let me find my little container thing. Where's my Okay, I just remember this. It's a square thing, doy. Okay, listen to me, Cece. The Walmart in New Smyrna, is that the one you were in? The best bet is to, uh, I'll do, oh, next time I'm there, Cece. I'll, I'll do a how to properly shop and avoid uh, any contact with any strangers. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a very specific body language. Yeah, yeah. And a certain pace that you're taking. If you said what, just flinging stuff in your cart? Yeah. Yeah, I want you to sort of think of it like it. Oh, when you were a kid, did you ever used to do the scavenger hunts? Very disturbing thing, but oh, you would just run to people's house and get stuff thrown at you. Run, run, run. I'm kind of like it. <laughs> okay, 
Okay, no, you need to go to the one in New Smyrna. It's actually run by zombies, which makes the people that are shopping there look downright normal. Okay, so, <laughs> okay. Well, it's actually run by zombies. If you go in there, it's like, these people are straight out of central casting. Zombies. Now, I don't trust anybody. If you saw, I must watch. <gasps> you saw them going in there. I'm gonna try putting the glasses in there. Just by themselves. <laughs> you little peanut. No, I don't like going to the store at all. That's why I get most of my stuff delivered. Yay! <laughs> you little peanut. <laughs> I still think you want to continue to move the dog forward as much as possible. You're always systemically moving the dog in your direction. I always try to remember to put my feet like this, though. If you said, do you? Not really, no. <laughs> all right, so I just have to try to look in there. And you see he's rearranged his house. He pulled this all over here. He's going to have to think. He went and looked over there. He's going to have to think, though. I can do better by going like this. Back in there. He probably will, and I mean, he does play in there. Oh, he sees all that outside the door. I think I'll go in there. Deliverer, you little stylish deliverer. I hurried up and got my hand down there. If you said you went that fast. I know. I didn't go to bed till like 10 o'clock last night. If you said, what you, I thought making those little video gift things is addictive. If you said, what? well, it just, it, they're fast and easy and fun to make. And I made that one with heel. And if you said, how did you do it? I just, I searched heels. And of course, there's all these pictures of high heels and everything, and then little, little, you know, like wording that says heel. So I just edged them up to the edge so the S was cut off. So it just says heel. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do with my spare time. Season. This is what I recommend for you. I recommend getting hobbies that you can do at your house. <laughs> yes. Fun, happy hobbies that involve things that are cute. Not the harsh realities of Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, you haven't seen the slideshow People of Walmart lately. Yeah. If you said, is it getting better? Not really, no. Not really, no. <laughs> it's actually getting worse. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty good. That was pretty good. So if you said, how, how could I? How can I do it better? I could change the trajectory, I think, and make it faster. Or make it better. Oh, she will be that. You will be that. You said, why? If I close that door, well, he goes right through the window, though. It's very important for people to understand. You can decide. That's why, you know, they have in these, almost every trial has jumped jumping and retrieving and if you said what does that involve if you're doing it right the dog believes that's the path of least resistance if you said is it no not at all it's the complete opposite of the path of least resistance so if you said the dog believes something that isn't true yeah <laughs> it's called a forced perspective <laughs> if you said is there anything wrong with that not with dogs. He said, what about with people? Yeah. You have to ask them. Okay. You little peanut. Oh. 
if the path of least resistance always involved having to, to go over something, that would be the normal path of least resistance. If you said, well, what would you, you'd have to prevent them from seeing there was another path of least resistance, but understand that that's the way their mind works, and that's how they get these pit bulls to climb vertical walls. They put the board at an angle. If you said, what angle? If the smart ones, I would say they start out pretty slow and do it as a process and train the dog and continually, continually make it more vertical until it is vertical. And if you said, what's the dog's perspective? Then it's running up a ramp. But if you said, how can it be a ramp if it's vertical? Well, it's not, but it's not, but it is to the dog. You know, it is to the dog. <laughs> this is how their minds work. Okay, so hang on. So, as you can see, that was pretty good. Oh, Rihanna, oh my God, you haven't seen him lately, girl. All right, tell me what's going on. Did you move into the new apartment? Have you been making this guy use the uh, guest bathroom as his permanent bathroom? I'm telling you right now, if you let this guy in your bathroom, no, pretty soon, no, you're not, no. Keep him out, keep him out. I want you to decorate your whole bathroom in bamboo and keep it all very girly. Pink candles, frilly, all your perfume and a little tray, everything. If you said, what about his stuff? No, it's in the other room. This man deodorant and this, this shaving, this hair. It's all gotta be in the other room. Okay, so I do like to reappear. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, I'm sorry! Let that be a lesson to you. You're there faster than you, even at this age. If he said, does he hold that against you? He really doesn't, because the mother steps on him and stuff, too. If you said, be careful, but I mean, there's some mothers that are worse than others, and I had one one time, and this dog wouldn't even put its foot down. If you said, what did it do? It would hold its foot up like this, and like gently set it down. That was Solo's Solo's great grandmother. The dog's name was Sapphire. If you said, Do those have it? Not really. But it was a very, very unusual trait. <laughs> but you have to be careful. Mommy needs to get you out in the wide open for your recall. The wide open. You can see, though, systemically moving away is already being affected. Anyway, that's his garbage truck playing. As far as he knows, I took my garbage out. This is what happened last night. So we're going to dinner. Lindsay's picking me up at 6.30. So I'm rushing, rushing in this rain to get all the, everything ready. I go up there and see Amazon has put five giant boxes up by my gate. If you said, well, at least they put the plastic bags on them. No, they didn't put the plastic bags on them. So if you said, what did I say? I said, oh my God, that's that freaking dog food. Please, dear God, let me tell, tell me this crap is in these plastic bags that doesn't matter if they get wet. If you said, were they? No. It's that nature's recipe. And I mean, some of it's in the plastic bags, some of it's in the freaking, that paper. So it was in the paper. The boxes, you know how Amazon is. And all the bags were already getting ripped. So I was out there doing a dog food rodeo in the rain, trying to, and then, so then, Lizzie, already got here, and I said, oh my God, just, all right, give me like five more minutes. 
to do a dog food rodeo. I can't even believe they would just throw it up. Just got at least put a plastic. They've got those plastic bags. They've got to have some clue. It's dog food, don't they? I mean, are they not clueless? All right, look. I've got a pretty good trajectory set up now. <laughs> but now he has to say that. He goes through the window. <laughs> All right, here we go. So what's going to happen? He's going to turn around and go back and go. Okay, so what are you doing? I'm putting my feet together. So what are you doing now? I'm looking in there. He's jumping up. If he says that's going to work, no. He's turning his head backwards, though, if he said. Look at my eyes. You saw him looking at my eyes. You saw the dog looking at my eyes. And I'm going to do the one-handed. That was the one-handed treat. <laughs> the one-handed treat trade off. <laughs> anyway, I think that's what we're trying to say. He said they all speak to each other with their eyes. And as far as I know, they do. That's all they do. Don't nice going back in there. <laughs> If I had to guess, he's going to come out right here. <laughs> you little peanut. <laughs> anyway, so. As you can see, hi, Safari. As you can see, that's what you need to get for the great day in Safari. We've got to cook chicken. I don't know if they have chicken there. Uh, but that's what I'm using. You know, you're saying to yourself, things that are going to pay dividends. Anyway, guys, hang on. It's, now it looks like it's clouding over again. Oh, my God. Now it's raining again. And I just said the sun was out two seconds ago. Now it's raining again. Maybe it's just sprinkling, though. I can still probably do something, so I'll be right back.